So you're dreaming about a new place to buy, to call your next home. I'm Rhonda, I'm in Charleston, South Carolina, and I work for ERA Wilder. I love to hear the stories, the motivation, the vision that people have for their new home. In all new home purchases, there are basically three steps, and those steps I'm gonna drill down for you today, and then I'm also going to give you 10 things that you don't want to do during the home buying process. So, in every transaction, we start with the dream. The thought, the planning, everything that you're thinking about you want in your new home. Here, I visualized it with my little lamb. He's dreaming peacefully away. He's counted enough sheep to be able to say, hey, I'm gonna have a house, one little palm tree, maybe a one-eyed sheepdog to herd us around. Um, that's the dream. Then the final step, the third step as I like to look at it, is the happy homeowner step. And that's when I hand you the keys, the transaction is done, and you are gonna move and go open up your tiny home, your condo, your town home, your McMansion, or your mansion, and call it your own. Now, to get from step one to step three, Step two has to deal with exchanging something of value for that home that someone else owns and you want to. There are two ways typically that this happens. One is you have cash, you have Bitcoin, and you're able to pay cash and make a cash offer. But for the majority of people, there will be a process of working with a lender who will then loan you that money to be able to purchase the house so you can make payments towards owning that house on your own. Those are the three basic steps in every transaction that we deal with in real estate. Today, the next thing is to really focus on this mortgage step. In here, there are pitfalls that can happen that you have no clue would be there. When you're dealing with the application and the approval process for your loan, there are 10 rules or things that you absolutely do not want to do. If you've bought many homes, bear with me because you might find something new in these numbers also. So first of all, when you make that application, tell the truth. List everything that you have that might be a debt or a liability. It will come out eventually in the approval process. Two, do not change jobs. Don't get pissed at the boss and decide that you're gonna quit. Don't move somewhere else. We need that solid history of employment and certainly don't start your own business during this time frame until after you have that house. Third, do not initiate any credit inquiries at all that you can avoid. So don't apply for any new credit cards. And four, with the credit cards that you do own, do not overspend on them. In fact, try to cut back as much as you can. And then, my favorite, number five. Believe it or not, do not buy one of these. A car, a truck, a van, a motorcycle. If you do, you might be living in here. And this does not have a lot of room in it. So do not go out and incur another loan, please. Number six is very similar. Don't go out and buy furniture until you get approval from your lender that it's not going to affect you. It's best just to not do it and not take out any other debt during the process of applying for this loan. Seventh on my list of things that you do not want to do would be don't spend the money you have saved for your down payment and your closing costs. You will need that at the closing. Number eight, don't make any large deposits to the bank unless you've talked to your lender first and he's advised you to do so. Do not co-sign any loans for even your child or your best friend because you will own their home instead of your own. And then finally, at number 10, and we could probably find more than 10, don't spend the money that you have set aside for closing costs. That's gonna be needed, another roadblock. So in those, there were 10 steps. 
that I gave you to get from here to here. I'd like to help you with those steps and guide you through there. That's part of what we do as realtors. We educate. So if you're interested in talking to my, me, my information is along the bottom. Please contact me. Let's start a conversation. Or if you're in another state, contact me also, and I'll refer you to someone who can help you. Thank you for taking your time today.